Hello guys, today we do have both of my land teams, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Lazio career mode, and it's me Dan back again, and today... Like I said in the intro, we do have both AC and Inter Milan in the in, in the game. Um, and then if we've got time, we might do a quick sim against Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, so, yeah, we're away first and then we're at home. Well, it, to be honest, we're both away, really. I oh, know, but we're not, we're not away, are we? We're at home. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, we've got a trip to our San Zero and then we've got the San Zero, the other side of the, the you know, the other team of the San Zero, the blue side of uh, Milan. Um at our place so anyway uh, just before we start i just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently and i just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing so thank you guys for that as well and if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button please hit that subscribe button as it does really help and don't forget to like the video as well as it helps the videos get out there uh this is a just another reminder if you guys did not know i have started a new career mode it is with by leverkusen uh there should be three episodes out now so if you want to go look if you go if you want to go you know watch that you could if you would yeah that would be great uh right anyway let's get into today's game we've got some games to play so uh let's do that uh it's always nice to get the big teams out of the way first i think <laughs> so which is kind of helpful for us uh that we've got these big teams you know at the pretty much start of the um start of the uh you know season which is nice um so if we can get you know make them lose points straight away that would be good uh when do we have juventus oh we have juventus there so we haven't got too far uh, to, to wait for the juventus game uh right anyway let's get into it we've got ac milan they are currently sixth in the league um although it doesn't really matter so far um we are going to go with the second team because we just played the first team against roma so uh yeah so second team in you go so let's get into it let's play match then shall we oh good free ball to leal will he score against his former club he does it's one nil and that hasn't lasted that long. Again, we've got an early goal. And that is nice for us. It's a good through ball, good goal. Um, yeah. Yeah, defenders. I don't know why both defenders go across, but um I actually felt I actually thought with that extra touch there, I thought maybe we lost it there. But it's a good strike from Rafael Leal. And that is uh one nil. So there we go. <laughs> Sam Maximan in the back there. Right, so there we go, 1 0. Oh, go on, and on the volley. Oh, what's the save? Right, so Bosloy with the corner. Oh, it's a good corner. It's a good corner, and what a goal it is. It's 2 0. Sindika with a goal. Oh, I said it was a good corner. You can tell when it is a good corner because the player locks onto it. And we have got that second goal, and it's a two quick goals in the first half. Mike Magnan is unlucky with it, but it's a good corner from Zabozloy and the centre back Evan and Dika. And what? <laughs> Look at Mike Magnan. Look at the dive. I swear they've changed something with FIFA recently with all the dives and stuff with the goalkeepers. But yeah, there we go. That is what? <laughs> I mean, look, look at that. What a dive. Um, right, so there we go. That is 2-0. So oh, there we go. Ben Yedder scored. Um, yeah, it's just a good through ball. And it's a good finish, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, just caught me by surprise. Um, I think the pass went through the, the defender's legs. Uh, let's just have a look. Did it go... Through the defender's legs. I think it did, and it's a good uh, finish. Although the keeper should be saving it because it's near post. But uh, I th yeah, I think it's right in front of him, to be honest. Um, uh, Strakosha doesn't make a really good uh, <laughs> meal for himself there. But there we go. It's 2 1. They're back in. Oh, Messiah with time and space. It's Messiah, surely for 3 1, and it is. It's a good finish, actually. <laughs> Messiah with the goal. 
It's a good goal. Um, yeah, just good through ball. Immobile waits for the run. And, uh, yeah, the quicker, much quicker. Uh, youngster, the young German. Um, Left-footed, a cross goal. Power shot. Mike Magnan, maybe? Mm, don't know. Uh, but we'll take it anyway. So there we go. That is 3-1. Oh, surely! Oh, oh, surely! Don, yeah, I was going to say surely for the uh, for the victory, four one. Dominic Savozloy with the goal. Um, <laughs> literally, we just had a chance. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it in the uh, keep it in this clip, but um, yeah, we had a chance. Anthony saves it. We get the ball back. Anthony crosses it in. To the Bosloy at the back post and Mike Magnan, absolute no chance. And that is 4-1. But yeah, the chance before, um, how we did not score, I do not know. But Mike Magnan, uh, yeah, he saved that shot pretty well. But this time he doesn't save this one. So there we go. That is 4-1. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get full time as well. So there we go. There's full time. 4-1 victory. Um, a really good game for the second team. Um, when it went 2-1, I thought, you know, it, they kind of bore it back into the team. Um, but, yeah, we just got it. We just, you know, in the end, we just, yeah, we just got we just got it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Zabozloy with, uh, that's not Zabozloy, that's Anthony. That's uh, Zabozloy with a goal. Uh, I totally forgot who scored, but <laughs> let's look at the highlights anyway. Uh, it's Raphael Leal with the first one. I know that. Uh, Mike Magnan with a chance here. Um Oh, yeah, this was a good... I thought this... If we tried this, it was unlucky. I thought, actually thought it was going in. Uh, it's just an over-top ball towards Immobile and uh, on the volley. And it's a good save from Mike Magnan. But it, the way, you know, where the camera was, I thought that was just, hit, you know, hitting the post and going in. Uh, so I was, like, celebrating when it went past. But, uh, yeah, it was unlucky. Uh, obviously, Ben Yedda scored for them. Uh, Lazari did have a chance here. We win the ball that back with two and many there. And then, yeah, we just tried the shot and it just goes over the crossbar. And then, obviously, we to get the two late goals there. So, 4 1 victory, 67 to 33. Two shots with 11 uh, uh, shots to us. And who got man of the match? It was a Bosloy with an 8.1. Not very high ratings, to be honest with you. Uh, I would have thought there might have been a bit more high ratings there, but. There we go. Uh, we shall do that. So let's go into the post-match interview now then. And then we shall go on to the next one. Oh dear, Inter Milan lost against Venezia. That's not very good uh, for them. Um, could be two losses in a row. we still got to play them. So, yeah. Um, right, yeah, four goal win. Uh, yeah, we kept our shape really well. Although it would have been nice uh, with the clean sheet. Uh, but, yeah, we uh, we played okay. So there we go. We shall take that. Right, so on to the next game. It is the Inter Milan game, who are currently 7th in the league. Um, so, yeah, we shall go on to that and let's get into it. Let's play match. Uh, first team, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, so let's get into it. Let's play match then, shall we? Oh, good through ball on the volley, surely. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. We've got an early goal yet again. It's Anthony with it, but what a through ball it was. I, th I don't know if it's Nkunku or Jesus. I know it's one of them too. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just an over the top ball. It's Jesus with the looped uh, ball into the box. And it's a mate, you know, it's that guy, Anthony, on that right hand side. What a season he's having up, by the way. He's having a really good couple of games that we've had uh, this week. But uh, Anthony with the goal. So there we go. That is 1 0. Oh, what a little ball towards Mendy. Let's just play it simple. Play it simple. Get it into the net. And that is 2-0. Thank God. Because I did not think we was going to get that goal. Because <laughs> Andanovic. <laughs> That's a, what, where's these, uh, where's these uh, celebrations come from? I've never seen these ones before. But, yeah, good through ball uh, towards uh, Vinicius. And then... Yeah, it's a little tramp goal. I I take it, but it's a good team goal. Um, I thought we wasn't gonna, you know, get the goal, but um, and Kunku gets it past somehow gets it past Andanovic and the defender there. 
and we get the goal. So there we go. That is 2-0 and hopefully that should be three points. So Mobile, oh look at that, three 0 I think that might be in, that might have been his second touch, but it's a Mobile who pretty much wraps up the game, and uh, yeah, there we go, celebrating with his fans, uh, celebrating with the Stadio Olimpico. Yeah, just a little through ball towards the Bre from Brea, and then left, just low driven shot against uh, Handanovic. He doesn't save this one, and. Uh, yeah, there we go. That is 3-0. Right, 3-0. Definitely game over now. Oh, I was going to say we're through again. But there we go. 3-0 victory. Um, just them two late goals pretty much settles the game. Um, we, did we did need those two late goals as well because we were struggling um, to get that second goal. And once we, you know, once the computer knows that we're struggling to get that second goal... You know, it clicks on and, you know, tries to, you know, tries to, you know, up the game a bit. And, uh, yeah, uh, there we go. But anyway, 3-0 victory. That's all we can do. Um, Inter Milan did have chances themselves. Uh, Donnarumma made some really good saves in the first half and second half. So let's look at the highlights of the game. So Anthony obviously scored the first goal. Handanovic uh, with a save. Literally, uh, I think this is Anthony. Yeah, it was good. Uh, curler there and then Handanovic yet again. Uh, is this it's Anthony again <laughs> with the uh, shot? Uh, this is Donnarumma right before half time. I think it's Martinez with the shot. Good save from a long way out. And then Donnarumma yet again after half time. Uh, who is it? I think it's uh, I don't know who it is actually. Um, uh, it's Matchies. Uh, Matchy. Matches, I don't know, but it's a good long shot and a good save yet again. And then Handanovic, yeah, look, <laughs> look, <laughs> Handanovic, right, uh, first of three saves. This one, free header from Jesus. I thought that was literally the goal that was going to win it for us. We win the slide tackle there. And then good through ball towards uh, Vinicius Jr. Again, good save, Handanovic. Um, but yeah, look, bang. You ain't, you were not scoring that, mate, he says. And then Handanovic again, this time on the counter attack, is in Kunku. I was surprised I didn't, you know, pull it back towards Vinicius Jr. there with his uh, space and time. But I thought, let's just go with Nkunku, see what happens. And of course, obviously, uh, we get the corner from that. And then obviously, we get the goal from that as well. And Chiro Immobile obviously uh, helps us with the third goal right at the end there. So 14 shots to five. 61-39 in possession, and who got man of the match? Probably um, their goalkeeper, uh, Handanovic, yeah, with an 8.1. So <laughs> even though he shouldn't really get it, I think Nkunku maybe should have got it. Uh, he's got 8.1 too, but we'll take it. So 3-0 victory, that'll do very nicely, and uh, Roma beat Napoli, so there we go. That's a good loss, uh, good win for them, but good loss for Napoli. Um, but we are on a remarkable run so far. Obviously, we are. Obviously, we played the last four games, but um, I think you know we're getting into that routine of winning games now. So you know, hopefully, fingers crossed with this last game against Shakhtar Donetsk, we should be okay. But then they did draw with Ajax, so you never know. And have we got to score in this game? I think we have to got... Yes, we have. We got to score in this game. So please, oh please, can you finish off with a victory against Shakhtar, or at least a draw? Uh, we need to score. That's all I... Um, that's all I need to really say about that. Um, so let's go on to that. And finish off against Shakhtar Donetsk in the... Uh, in the in the Champions League. Uh, right, so second team against Shakhtar Donetsk. Can we get the victory? And we can. So there we go. 2-0. Clean sheet as well. Chua Menyi and Anthony with the goals. Eight shots, six on target. Two shots, two on target. 59-41. Uh, who got man of the match? It was Chua Menyi with an 8.7. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take that. So let's go into the post-match interview now then. Just to finish off this episode 
as we are becoming well we're not we're not becoming we are finishing off this week and to be honest it's been a good week isn't it really uh you know we won both get we've won all four games which is nice all five games i should say and uh yeah should be okay for next week because i think next week i will probably be doing uh, a couple of sin games i think we've got genoa Got an international break there. Got Verona. We got Ajax there. We got Venezia. We yeah. We got Spezia, and then we got Juventus. So yeah, we could be looking at Juventus, and then maybe into November as well next week. So look forward to that one. I am actually going to end it here for today, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.